What I'd like to do next is to present an example of student writing from a student in the MAC program and then discuss how we could accomplish providing feedback on this example based on this list of tips. So here's an example of an abstract written by a MAC student. In, this, in our program, one of the common errors is that students mistakenly believe that an abstract serves as an introduction to their paper rather than as a summary of their paper. Here you can see that the student's instructions for writing the abstract are to, number one, write a concise summary of the key points in the review of literature, and number two, include possible implications of your review of literature for professional practice. So this student, based on those instructions, this student wrote, this paper examines the connections between early childhood attachment and adult attachment. Early childhood attachment is reviewed as the basis of attachment theory. Recent research studying the relationship between childhood and adult attachment is reviewed, particularly related to the peer slash romantic relationship tradition of attachment research. Considerations with regard to culture, gender, and sexual orientation in relation to attachment are discussed, as well as implications of attachment for the counseling field. So you can see that in this example, the student has a good basic understanding of the purpose of an abstract, and the student has a clear writing style also. I'd like to work through the example as a large group, and then we'll have the opportunity to practice on the second example, like I mentioned. Here I've included four questions that, I, that we can use to guide the feedback that we give, and I'll give an example of how I might respond to each of the questions in the feedback that I provide for the student. So for the first question, which is, how would you be specific, I might say to the student, I appreciate the clear language that you've used to describe specifically what the reader can expect in the manuscript. You've told the reader what the main focus of the paper is, how you will frame the discussion through a theory, what contemporary researchers are discussing in this area, and that the reader can expect to see professional implications of this work. So basically just putting back to the student what they did well with the assignment. From there, the next question, because I've been in a conversation with student with the student prior to the submission of this work, I might pick up where I left off with previous feedback in, in my answer to the second question, which is how would you ensure that your feedback helps this learner reach writing goals? For example, if this student had not demonstrated competence in previous work, then I might praise the student for incorporating feedback from prior assignments into this assignment. I might say something along the lines of, I see here that you were able to follow the general guidelines for what is to be included in an abstract. Thanks for your efforts in incorporating my previous feedback. I think the point here is that students will recognize that the instructor is aware of their overall development and is invested in the process with them. For the third question, here we go. How would you be sensitive to the learner's needs? I think that instructors will have to be aware of who students are and where they are in their learning process. In addition to my previous comment, I might say something along the lines of, I know you mentioned after class that you had trouble with APA style before and that the feedback on writing in third person was helpful. You've demonstrated that here in a clear way. And then for the last question, how would you involve the learner in the feedback? I believe it's important to be aware of who students are and where they are in their learning process, like I mentioned. And I might finish my above comment with a statement, your flexibility and responsiveness to my feedback on your writing is a disposition that I believe will serve you well as you continue in the program and in your clinical work. So just acknowledging the student's efforts. Um, and I have, I think that after asking each of those questions, I can have a meaningful piece of feedback that highlights what students have done well and maintains a focus on the student's learning goals.